this is Marie, one of your Heartfelt Creation Design Team members, and I'm so excited to do a tutorial for you today on coloring. We have a wonderful new collection out, the Berry Fun Retreat, and it's loaded with all types of bears, and um, they're so cute. I'm going to show you one way in which I establish my fur uh, texture. I like to always establish my dimension first because it's very hard to do after you texturize. So I'm establish just laying down a base coat of my Copic E40. Doesn't have to be smooth. And I'm going to have your um, highlight on your right hand side and the shadow over on the left, which would be your left. I'm using a little E42 to uh, pop up that nose in the shadow area and blending it out with my E40. Now I'm just going to play around with some shadow area that I think is going to happen on your left hand side, flicking uh, my darker midtone, my E44, light flicking method, touching very, very light. You don't have to press hard with Copic Alcohol ink markers. Just a light flicking method. And um, as I do this, I'm just saying, uh, thinking to myself, is this the way I want it to be? And I'm flicking out now with an E42 to see how do my shadows look. It isn't too late. I can change them a little bit if I want. Um, so I'm just kind of like testing the water here. And I like how that looks. I'm trying to put some shadow in in areas that are not getting the direct light. So now I'm going to take my very darkest, my E47, and I'm putting it over where I had my E44. I just kind of mapped it out with the E44, uh, and now I, I liked it, so I'm darkening that up. Be careful at this point that you don't overextend your flicking. You do not want to go too far into your midtone. Your midtone should be, as a rule of thumb, about 70% of your image should be in midtone. So um, keeping that shadow, um, uh, unless you're doing a special technique, less is more, and uh, having 70% be your um, other. We flicked out a little with our E44, and now our lighter midtone, E42. Just blending it toward my highlight. Again, keeping a very light flicking method. And it's important when you do this that you do the um, texturizing before you color the rest of your image. Otherwise, your other colors that you're going to use will bleed. So don't color the cup or the donuts or any of that stuff until after you have texturized. And when you're using your E40, your lightest, again, a light method, and I try to only go over once initially. If I want to get a better blend, I do a thing called bridging, where I take, um, say, a lighter color with the next darker color. You touch the tip to the darker one, color with your lighter one, and it bridges those two colors. It's a nice little technique if you are missing, say, um, a middle color. It's called bridging. Just uh, flicking out a little bit with my highlight. Now it's time to texturize. We have good dimension. You can see the highlight. You can see the shadow. So we're going to take 70% alcohol on a piece of terry cloth. You kind of fluff it up with your fingers. And we're going to put it on top. You see why I didn't want to color the blue cup first. And we hold it there for about three to four seconds and lift it off and allow it to dry. And as it dries, the alcohol evaporates, the highlights, the little um, texture will become very pronounced. 
If there's an area after it dries you still want more texture, take a little corner or a little piece and with alcohol, fluff it up with your fingers, and gently set it on. Don't smash it really hard because you want the texture from the terry cloth to um, look like fur. I just kind of am darkening a couple little areas with my E40, my lightest, um, my lightest highlight, areas that may have got a little light in this process. So you can see he's a, a really furry looking little fellow, has lots of uh, texture. I'm going to put a little R20 since he's so whimsical on his little cheeks, his belly, and kind of the underside of his little paw, his little bottom foot. Then we're going to take a, our light tone, our E40, and we're just going to put that over the top, flick it over to allow for a better blend. Okay, so this is a very fun technique that you can use for all the different bears in this collection. Um, he's just um, so cute. There are some other techniques you can use. Uh, I showed them in my written tutorial. Uh, one is just, this is the one we just did with uh, the terry cloth laid flat on it. Um, and there's one you can do with a Copic marker where you just dot and hold and lift and dot, lift, and that technique gives you a more subtle look. There's another called stippling, and that's just a dot, dot, dot technique that you do with your markers. And then we have a scumbling technique where it's just a scribble. And while you're doing that, you're still kind of keeping in your shadow, midtone, and highlight. So I hope you give these pairs a try and experiment with the different techniques and let us know which technique you like the best. They're all fun. I do them all. Thank you so much for watching.